Ballistics Gel is a cheap and easy to make testing medium for projectiles. All you need to make it is water and about 2 ounces of Nox gelatin for every pound of Ballistics Gel you want to make. The exact ratio is about 8 ounces or 1 cup of water for every ounce of Nox gelatin. It's a good idea to stir the water while you're adding the powder. This will really cut down on the number of clumps you get and reduce the amount of time you spend stirring. Once you're done, you'll end up with something about the consistency of applesauce. That's alright because the next step is going to solve this. We're going to put our ballistics gel into the fridge for about 2 hours. This is known as blooming. Once it comes out, it's going to be solid but nowhere near ready for testing. So what we'll do is melt it back down. The best way to do this is to put it over a pot of boiling water. This will melt it without scorching it. Now we need to make a mold for our ballistics gel. I just used cardboard, aluminum foil, and plastic wrap. Make sure to get a good watertight seal, otherwise you'll end up with a goopy mess. Now we're ready to pour our ballistics gel, but do it slowly to avoid making any bubbles. Next, we put it in the fridge for 12 hours to harden. Once it comes out, it should be much more firm and clear than it was before the bloom. Now we can unwrap it and test it. But it's important to remember that if it's too hot outside, it won't be as strong as it needs to be, so keep it cool. After you're done testing, you can always melt this down and remold it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for a new video every week.